the shock to put back together. I'm using 40 weight oil. Fill it all the way up as close as I can to the top. Then I push up the shadow very slowly. Don't go all the way out though because you'll grab some air if you go all the way out. Then you pull back down and then you'll see that the air actually comes out. Don't do it really fast because it makes a lot of tiny little bubbles and it takes forever for them to pop. So just do it a couple times. Down. And then you can see I, could, I need to top off because there was air in there. So I'll top off the shot. Then you take your cap. Don't take the bleeder, the bleeder screw out yet. Go ahead. Stick that on. Screw that on there. You're on pretty tight. Then now you take the bleeder cap out. The shaft is all the way extended. Make sure the shaft is all the way extended before you take it out. Uh, pull the, that off. I like to keep it on there so I can be ready to put it on. So you're going to push the shaft up very slowly. And when you see oil start to come out of the bleeder, stop, wipe it off. Slowly, stop, wipe it off. Now it's all the way up. Now wipe it off. I'm holding it with my, my pinky finger right there. And then I take my screw, stick it in there. Now this doesn't have to be really tight. You have a grommet in there. And you just snug it up just good enough. Wipe it off. And that's it. Shock is rebuilt. It's nice and smooth. Um, hope you guys got something out of this. Uh, again, the Traxxas Rebuild Kit. Shock Rebuild Kit. I use the blue grommets, and I use the, the white um, spacer in between the blue grommets from the Traxxas Kit. So hopefully um, this will help some of you out there with leaky shock problems. Uh, again, uh, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.